Hello friends, today I am going to show you what are the post configuration steps of for SQL Server. So in that context, I am going to show you the first step uh, like and we can also say this is one of the best practice. When the SQL Server initialization was done, we have so many uh, post configuration practices or steps that we need to follow to avoid the issues in that category first i am talking about like min memory and maximum memory you know the meaning of the min memory and maximum memory when memory comes to like when sql server needs thrive for operating system thrives memo for memory that then that sql server application will not return that memory what we have configured uh, as like with min mem memory sex min memory okay when it's come to max memory sql server can go can it use that that much of memory when sql server requires apart from that it could not go beyond that limit that what max memory means here so in our in the industry standard currently we are following 75 percent of memory uh, as maximum memory or 2 gb or 4 gb uh, for this minimum uh, sql server memory okay so right now if you go to the practice here so right now uh, the, i mean i will mention as a three so i will mention as a something like two 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 this this much of gb now refresh the instance click properties go to memory see this much uh, by default it will be default value is this so right now so using this dynamic script i can change the values according my need okay i don't need the calculation calculator and anything so as of now let's assume that in my project so what my project architect has told me is the best practices for this is 80 percent of you need to keep a max memory as a eight percent of total server okay so right now if i do need to i need, i just mentioned that what how much percentage that i need to set here so minimum memory i have hard coded value it might be different how much in your case in my case it might 2 gb so that's the reason i have mentioned this 24880 so you just mention for maximum memory here and if you have any value like 4 gb you just hard coded that, that value for minimum memory and you just execute that so here you can see that uh, max memory got and memory got successfully got changed here now refresh the instance once right click on the instance go to the properties go to the memory see we have successfully changed the min memory and max memory so one of the best practices or we can say like post configuration steps so using this script so we can at the time we can change within um, seconds okay so this is the uh, first step of the post configuration steps so we will meet you again in the part two of this series i hope you may like this video thank you